We're going to look at balancing equations, looking at the Haber process as an example. We're going to react hydrogen and nitrogen gases together at high temperature and pressure to make ammonia. The nitrogen atom has three bonds and each hydrogen atom has one bond. They combine to make ammonia which looks something like this. This is a molecule of nitrogen gas which is found in air. It has two nitrogen atoms joined together by three bonds. This makes the substance very hard to break apart. A molecule of hydrogen consists of two hydrogen atoms joined together. When hydrogen reacts with nitrogen, the triple bond is broken and ammonia is made. We start off with one molecule of hydrogen reacting with one molecule of nitrogen. We write down the equation so we can balance it. Hydrogen plus nitrogen gives us ammonia. Now we start the reaction. We react one molecule of hydrogen with one molecule of nitrogen. We can look at this reaction as each hydrogen atom breaking a bond. So we'll break this bond and the triple bond's broken and one hydrogen molecule has been used up. We still need more hydrogen. A second hydrogen molecule here breaks another of the triple bonds. Two hydrogen molecules have now been used. There is still one more bond to break so we need another hydrogen molecule. Now all the nitrogen bonds have been broken and two ammonia molecules have been produced. The reaction has finished. We've reacted three molecules of hydrogen with one molecule of nitrogen, we don't need to write down the one, to give us two molecules of ammonia. We've written down the numbers and the equation is now successfully balanced. We can also do this by writing down the problem and use can't be asked to solve the equation. Can't be asked. This is the chemical. Here we have before and here we have after. Let's write down the chemicals. We have hydrogen and we have nitrogen. We have two before and two nitrogens before. After we have three hydrogens and one nitrogen. Well, if we've got two nitrogens at the start, we have to have two nitrogens at the end. So, let's cross this out and replace this with a two. If I've got two nitrogens, then if I put a two here, we're going to have two times three, which is six hydrogens after. If I've got six hydrogens after, then I need to have six hydrogens before. Six is going to be two times something makes six. Two times three is six. And we have the same number here before and after, the same number here before and after. So the equation is balanced.